Now, here's a more, a more formal approach to the problem of the pattern in problem number 21. If you remember that problem, or if you're looking at your packet, you'll see that the first five turns in a pattern are shown below. Um, but zero, uh, five, negative five tenths is the first term. Negative 25 hundredths is the second term. Zero is the third term. Um, the fourth term is 25 hundredths, and the fifth term is 5 tenths on, on, forever. So if we keep this pattern going, which exp expression can we use to find the nth term? Um, uh, let's suppose we didn't even have these A choices, A, B, C, and D. How would you even get these expressions? Um, this is where a formula, there is a formula that we can use to find the nth term, okay? And this is the way it looks. The formula for the nth term of a sequence, uh, where this is a sub one, this is a sub two, a sub three, a sub four, a sub five, on and on and on. So the nth term would be a sub n. a sub one would be the first term. In this case, a sub one will be a negative will be a negative zero point five. Let's go ahead and do that. So a sub one, uh, just using this, and then n is of course is whatever we want to find. It's the nth is the n that corresponds to the nth term. We'll just leave it in for now. And then there's something called d, which is the common difference. This is a what's called an arithmetic sequence. An arithmetic sequence. That means that we are, that something is being added or subtract, something is being added from term to term. It could be positive or negative. There's a difference. Uh, so a common difference. There's a value added to each term to find the next term. If you look closely, you'll see in this, uh, with this example, that um, it is pretty easy to find the first term. There it is right there. So we already know what a sub, a sub 1 is. So I'm going to go ahead and clone that. And let's put this over there. So a sub 1, it's a little cluttered. A sub 1, boy, that's a big 1, isn't it? Let's see if I can make this better. All right, A sub 1 for our sequence here is clearly 0, uh, negative 0, uh, negative 5 tenths. I can't believe I actually said negative 0. All right, and then let's look at what our common difference is. Our common difference is if you look, if we are, especially if you look at the third two, uh, the, the third term and the fourth term, we are clearly adding 0.25 every time. So I'm going to put uh, 0 0.25 as our common difference. And even with the negatives, we are still adding 0.25. It becomes more obvious in the positive side, but we're doing the same every time. So, and that's really all we need to figure out what the nth term is. Just substitute into this formula here. And this is what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and take this, copy this. Let's go down here, paste. And let's put, let's go ahead and put our values in. We'll get um, a sub n, uh, which is what we're looking for. We want to figure out what is a sub n. I'm just going to just write the expression. So it's going to be uh, negative 0. Point uh, our first term was this, 5 tenths plus n, we're looking for the nth term, I'm just going to leave that n, minus 1, times the common difference. The common difference we've already discovered is 0 0.25, okay? Now, let's simplify this. So it's going to be 0 0.5 plus, and let's go ahead and distribute the 25 hundredths. That's going to give us a, let's see, a 0 0.25 n minus 0 0.25, okay? And we have two like terms. We have our like terms with our 50 with negative 50 
negative five tenths and our uh, negative 25 hundredths because they're both just numbers. We add those together, they're both negative. And so, and then we have just the 25, uh, 25 hundredths in, which we can't do anything, we can't add anything to. So this expression then therefore is the same as 25 in minus 0 0.75. And let's look and see if that was actually one of our choices. And if I go to the page there, you'll see that that actually was choice C, 25 in minus uh, 75 hundredths. And that's exactly what we got. So you can use this formula. You can use this formula for the sum or the nth term of a arithmetic sequence. That's what this is. All right. In turn of an arithmetic sequence. All right. And I'll just highlight that formula right there.